random question. Everyone on Twitter yesterday talking about your nickname. What do you want your nickname to be? Um, it's not pumpkin. <laughs> um, um, I mean, I'm good with, uh, I like big skinny. I like everybody, like, uh, Nurt calls me that. Uh, Myers calls me that. I think DV calls me that. Jimmy Moe calls me that. Uh, some guys call me Zebo. Pat calls me Zebo, but I know you guys already had a Zebo here, so. Um, or Big Z, no, nothing crazy, but definitely not Pumpkin. <laughs> Zico, yeah, I've actually heard that before. My buddies call me Zico sometimes. Um, it was definitely like in high school, like one of my teammates in high school tweeted yesterday that it was Zebo in high school. And that's, that's where I got, because it used to be just Z, Big Z, and then in high school it started being Zebo. Do you remember the first time you saw LeBron on TV? Ooh, uh, not the first time, no. I don't remember him, but yeah, he's, I've been watching him, you know, as long as I can remember, for mm -hmm. sure. What's it like playing him? Uh, I mean, last time I didn't, I, I, I stripped the ball from him, but, you know, he went out right after that, so I played against him for like 10 seconds, but um, hopefully tomorrow I get to play against him a little more. It's definitely like a dream come true, because, you know, he's my favorite player growing up. Mm -hmm. Why was he your favorite player? What's up? Why was he your favorite player? Uh, I just think he plays uh, the right way. Um, he's, uh, I mean, his stats speak for himself. He's a complete player. Um, so, you know, you always strive to be good at every aspect of, of, of the game. And, you know, when you see a guy that can do that and do it so consistently and, and he's in his 15th season and he's, you know, still the best. So it's, that's, that's, why, that's why he's my favorite. I could be wrong, but didn't he reach out to you right after? LeBron? Yeah. No, I wish. I I no, 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 he didn't reach out to me, no. Did you talk to him at all the first time you No, I didn't talk to him. I just stripped the ball, and he was after that, he was yelling at the ref that was a foul. <laughs> yeah. It had to feel good. Yeah. How was Damian in your rookie Man, I think just how good he is and how, you know, he's been good for so long. But, you know, there's no, there's no secret behind him. He's obviously he's talented, but he, he works. Um, and that, that kind of showed me that uh, no matter how good you are, if, if you don't if you don't continue to work, you know you can fall off at any time. And obviously, he's not going to fall off anytime soon. That's because he puts the work in. So, Jack, how do you feel like you're playing right now? Cause it seems like you're, it seems like you're on a real kind of steady gradual uptick. Yeah, I think I'm playing. I think I'm playing pretty well. It helps when you're making you know open shots and um, you're, you're getting to the right spots on the floor. And it helps when we're on a 10 game win streak. So, uh, I think it's a combination of me kind of settling in a little bit and also you know the team's playing great right now we're playing really well together so all that combined helps me a lot when you say settling in kind of what, what does that mean i guess for you in terms of, of on the court? um just again i think i said it earlier in the season when i had a couple of good games just i'm slowing down a little bit on offense and um, not rushing anything and uh, kind of taking what the defense gives me and not really deciding what i want to do before you know before the defense gets there so just slowing down a little bit taking my time reading the reading the defense a little bit better. How much are you enjoying this whole experience right now? Man, it's, it's awesome uh, to be to be drafted and to be as, as young as I am and to be on a team that's, you know, um, we're third in the West right now. It's it's pretty it's pretty crazy to be a part of that my first year and I'm having a blast. And then I mean, making plays is a long way to help the team. Work. Right. Yes. I mean, if you can help a team like this, uh, you know, how good we are and to go out there and, and make winning plays and to be on the floor in crunch time when we need to win games, it, it's, it's awesome. It's fun to be a part of. Is this what you envisioned you know, when you got drafted in terms of what your role has been so far? Yeah, I mean, I envisioned myself to make an impact my rookie year. I didn't know, you know that we would be this good. And um, like I said, number three in the West and being able to contend for those top three spots. I didn't know about that, but I, I envisioned myself uh, playing well this year. What did it mean to you to be able to play in these games late and to know that you know your team trusts you, your coach trusts you. It's awesome, uh, just because you know I, I wasn't playing a lot at the beginning of the year, and now that we're getting into you know post All Star break when all the games are really starting to count, um, you know, coach thinks that me being in the game is going to give us the best chance to win, uh, part, being part of that lineup. So it means a lot for sure. Zach, this time last year you were preparing for an NCAA tournament run. What are your memories of that? Um, just a lot of fun. Um, and you know how locked in we were you know it's very similar to how you know how we are now but you know in the tournament it's, it's one game at a time and you have you know basically a whole week or three or four days to prepare for one team so um, i just remember how many you know, how many plays we had to remember how many coverages we had to remember um and just being locked in as a unit everybody there's there's no one on the team looking to for individual success it was all about the team and it was just a lot of fun have you been able to 
followed the Zags much this year and what are your thoughts of, uh, as they enter the tournament? Yeah, I mean, they're about the only team I really followed this year. Um, and they, obviously they had a really good year and a lot of people said they wouldn't be as good as they were because we lost so much last year. I think we lost like eight guys. Um, and, you know, those coaches and those players found a way to, 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 get, a, to get a four seed and, you know, it's well deserved. They played, they've been playing great ball all year. And, um, I'm really excited to see what they can do in the tournament. How nice has it been to have so much time here uh, in Portland the last couple of weeks? Oh man, it's it's awesome. I, I say it to my to my friends and family all the time. I mean, you know, it's you can't really complain about how you travel. I mean, you got the, the big plane, big comfortable seats, and the nicest hotels you can think of. And uh, but sometimes, like when you go on long road trips, it it, it turns into a lot. And uh, being home and being in Portland, I just want to be in Portland all the time now. So it's it's really nice. What do you like about Portland the most? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I really like um, the, the vibe. It's, it's really quiet. There's not a lot of distractions. Um, it's easy. It's really easy to stay focused. And when you when you're on your downtime, it's really easy to kick back and, and just relax. Um, I don't, it could be the same way in all of the you know 49 places in in, in, the, in the country. But uh, I think I like it here a lot.